the five reasons why you can't lose weight or keep it off. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Johnson. I am a doctor of natural medicine and I've been in private practice since 1983. So going on 40 years in natural healthcare. So we're gonna talk about the five reasons and it doesn't matter what you do, if you don't handle these five reasons, you will never lose the weight. So I'll go over them briefly and then we'll take a deep dive into them. Number one, thyroid. Your thyroid gland drives your metabolism. So if your thyroid gland isn't functioning the way that it should, you're not gonna lose the weight. Number two is your liver. Your liver is very important. We're gonna take a deep dive, like I said, into it in just a couple seconds. But your liver has to be functioning properly. Number three are hormones. Well, your liver clears hormones and guess what? Your liver also converts T4 to T3, which is the thyroid hormone, inactive to active. So it's all connected. It's all connected. Inflammation is number four. Reason number four, you have systemic inflammation and there are ways to check for it and ways to help it. And finally, number five, your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are your stress glands. And don't tell me you've never been stressed and went out and had that Big Mac, you know, stress eating. Don't, don't. I've done it. I think we've all done it, right? But there's a reason why. And we're going to go over that. So let's talk about the thyroid. And just before we begin that, I wrote the book on thyroid. You can beat thyroid disorders naturally. That's my book. So what's happening is this. Your thyroid is is a gland and medical doctors really don't do enough tests there's nine different tests they should run they only run one or two tsh and free t4 well the tsh lab range is very broad 0.5 to 5.0 but the functional or optimal range is it's a lot narrower it should be anywhere from 1.8 to 3.0 so you could be at 4.8 your md says your thyroid's fine i don't know why you can't lose the weight I don't know, you're going to the gym all the time, you're barely eating anything, I don't know. That's because they don't look at things from a functional viewpoint. And they don't run the other tests because you could have the TGB and TPO antibodies, which means you have an autoimmune thyroid. 90% of hypothyroid is caused by an autoimmune thyroid. Now, I know thyroid because I had Hashimoto's and then it flipped over to Graves when I had gallbladder surgery. So I'm living it. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's in 2008. My TPO antibodies were through the roof. So yes, thyroid is number one. And that's the reason they're not doing enough testing, number one, and they're not looking at functional ranges, number two. Why don't they do all the testing? It's not like they wanna hurt you. It's just, they're gonna treat your thyroid the same way every time, which is give you a drug. Why not, let, let's heal your thyroid, right? So thyroid's number one. Number two, your liver. Holy moly, this is a big one. Okay, I just told you the importance of your liver converting T4 to T3, inactive thyroid hormone to active thyroid hormone. You need active thyroid hormone for your metabolism. The thyroid is a gas pedal of the body. Well, what else does the liver do? Well, it regulates amino acids. What else does it do? Well, it has many functions. It helps with the, you metabolizing your fats, proteins, carbohydrates, that's that's vital. It's enzyme activation. It has to do with storage of glycogen, vitamins, minerals. So you can see it's, it's really important. And if it's not working, you're not gonna lose the weight. Well, here's the problem. The medical doctor looks at that lab range, zero to 40 for you, AST and ALT. Oh, that's not good. It should be 17 to 26. So you could be hanging out here at 38. And like I said, your thyroid TSH is 4.5. And now you're at 38 with your liver and you've got two things wrong with you. And see, some patients that I've seen have all five of these things. And it's a mystery to their physician and themselves why they can't lose the weight. This is why, these are the reasons why. Number three is hormones. Hormones are a player. So when you look at hormones, you need cholesterol. Cholesterol is up here. You need cholesterol to make hormones. So you need cholesterol and what your body does and convert that to pregnenolone. And then pregnenolone comes over here and makes DHEA and it comes over here 
and it makes progesterone. And then it comes down here and it converts it to cortisol. And then it comes the DHEA down here and that converts it to testosterone. And it over here converts it to the estrogens. There's three different estrogens. Now, have you heard of something called PCOS? A lot of women have it, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's an androgen dominance. They have too much testosterone. That's why they got the male pattern baldness. That's why they got the facial hair. That's why they're overweight. They're having trouble losing weight. All these symptoms, they just feel like crap. So in order for us to get you better, we have to look at those hormones. And if you have androgen dominance, we have to work that back using herbs, natural supplements to help convert that. Convert it back to estrogens if you're a female. Now, if you're a male, you can have issues with testosterone, either low testosterone or too much DHT, dihydrotestosterone, or maybe you're converting your testosterone to estrogens. That's a factor. Can you see how this all plays a part? I mean, you, you go to a gastroenterologist for your stomach. You go to a cardiologist for your heart. You go to a hematologist for your liver. You go to a neurologist for your brain. All these separate parts, you got to look at the body as a whole. Does that make sense to anybody? <laughs> well, like I said, lab ranges for that liver are very broad. So you have to be aware of it because hormones are cleared in your body via your liver. So it's all connected. It's this big, huge dance. Well, number four is inflammation. This is a big one. See, this is why we do complete blood work with our weight loss program. A complete, or com, excuse me, it's early. Comprehensive metabolic panel. I got up like four in the morning to make this video. A comprehensive metabolic panel. And we need a complete thyroid panel. Like I said, nine different tests, not just one or two. We need a lipid panel. Where's your cholesterol at? I just said you need cholesterol to make hormones. And we need a CBC with auto differential. And then we need to look at those hormones. But we also have to look at inflammation markers. And inflammation markers are C-reactive protein, homocysteine, fibrinogen, and a very important one, ferritin. Ferritin has to do with your stored iron. You can say, well, I'm low iron, I'm anemic. No, that's circulating iron. Circulating iron is different than stored iron. You can be anemic and still have high ferritin. I had it. I was anemic and my ferritin was 350. Normal is 20 to 50. So we gotta look at that. If it's above 50, you've got systemic inflammation in your body, it has to be addressed. And it can be, and we know how to do that naturally. But this is why, the five reasons why you can't lose weight, or if you did lose weight, why you couldn't keep it off, and you're all yo-yo, bouncing up and down. Yeah. What about high cholesterol? So your cholesterol is 400 and you're on statins. Well, do you know when you have too high a stored iron, you have very low magnesium. That stored iron drives down magnesium. When you have too little magnesium, you have an enzyme, HMG coenzyme A, that tells your liver to just keep cranking cholesterol because 85% of your body's cholesterol is made in your liver. It doesn't come from your diet, it comes from your liver. You see how this is all important, how it all works together. It's like a big puzzle and we're putting the jigsaw puzzle together. That's what I've been doing for four years. <laughs> well, guess what? Stress can cause high stored iron and low magnesium. So that's not good if you're stressed. That comes into the adrenal glands. The next problem that if you don't handle it, you're going to run into problems. Plus there's issues with cortisol. The adrenals are your stress glands. So it doesn't matter if you, like we use peptides. Okay, let, let me tell you what a peptide is first. Peptide is a short chain amino acid. Proteins are long chain amino acids. So we use uh, peptides with an amino acid combo. And what it does, it transitions your body into a different metabolic pathway. It allows you to burn fat and lose inches. But you could take all the peptides in the world if you don't handle those five issues that I just told you about, your thyroid, your liver, your hormones, your inflammation, and your adrenal glands, it doesn't matter. You can take the new wonder drug for weight loss, Ozempic, or any of the other drugs they have out there. It doesn't matter. 
And if you do consider going down that road, I mean, we have a nurse practitioner, we looked at it, but then we looked at the side effects. So just Google Ozempic side effects. You're gonna find an article and I'll read it to you. It says, you might, um, excuse me, you might go through hell for your post Ozempic body. Read that article. Holy moly, we read that article. We're like, I don't think we're gonna do Ozempic. No. So look, we have a waiting list for this program. And a lot of times we have people, well, there was a death in the family. My kids are busy. So spots open up. If we call you and the spots opened up, don't sit there and hem and haw because we take that as a no. We're just moving on to the next person. So get all the information. Use this video. I can send you more information. My email, and it'll be below this video on YouTube, is drmlj83 at gmail.com. That's Dr. Doctor. MLJ, Michael Lee Johnson, 83, the year I started practice, at gmail.com. Real simple. And again, I'll have it down below. How much is the program? $2,450. But we're the only ones out there offering a complete money-back guarantee. Look, you don't lose the weight. It's a six-month program. We'll give you your money back. Nobody else is doing that. And we can work with you anywhere, anywhere in the country, via telemedicine. Telemedicine, we've been utilizing telemedicine since before COVID, and it's worked out great. So I will analyze the blood work for you. I go over it with you in detail. I go over the program with you in detail. My staff follows up with you. I'm available to you. I'm available to you through email, through phone, um, through texting, however you want to contact me. I will say you're probably going to call me on the phone and it'll go to voicemail because they meet are on the other line. I'm on the phone a lot because I consult with doctors. If you go to our website, txfibro.com, you'll see that's our message board for doctors. We have 400 doctors on that message board. It's crazy, crazy good because we put up tough cases. But that's how we're going to help you. And those are the five reasons why you can't lose weight. I'm Dr. Michael Johnson. Again, my email, drmlj 83 at gmail.com. It'll be below this video on YouTube. And I look forward to helping you lose the weight.